What is going on ladies and genitals, Jody Slayer here with a special Borderlands 2 video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat Pete the Invincible the easiest way. Now I did have a video put out with my gun zerker and I had this ready to rock but today a couple videos surfaced and a couple of my buddies came to me and they're like Yodi there's a new gun out there that's not really been nerfed by the B shield yet or it doesn't seem like that and they showed it to me and my buddy actually gave this to me and this gun is the Sandhawk you actually get this gun here from the very first DLC Captain Scarlet's booty call or whatever it is but it is the Sandhawk it's just a unique weapon you get from a mission called whoops it's a side mission within the first DLC this is a quest reward now mine is just uh, a normal version there are like different elemental versions but mine just has normal damage like 48,000 or 4,898 I'm sorry uh, and it's not really too special of a weapon but you can see here in the red text in not like unlike Errol who knows what that means most of the time with these legendaries uniques and different uh, you know serif weapons that red text means something that we do not know what it means and uh, in this case it may or may not mean this okay you're gonna see what's awesome now with this it fires a Eight bullets you can see in like the form of a bird like check this out when I shoot it down there you'll see it like flaps its wings like a bird that's pretty awesome now with the eight shots like this with the B shield on my B shield does an amp damage of 46,678 each of those eight bullets are gonna have that amp damage of 46,000 okay so with this B shield and this gun right here, this is definitely the easiest way to take out Beat the Invincible. When I did it with my gun Zerker, it took about 10 minutes. With this, it's going to take probably uh, at the most three minutes, okay? If you don't have the DLC and you can't do this side mission, I suggest looking on the Gearbox forums. Um... Or simply in the comments of this video, if you've got one of these guns and you're willing to give out, definitely uh, help some dudes out because this is going to help you farm Pete the Invincible for days. Now, if you're wondering why I'm being, I'm able to kill this more than 24 hours, uh, more than once every 24 hours. Right now, the raid boxes are, uh, you can do them numerous times uh, because there was a glitch that once you killed Pete, it would lock you out of the other raid bosses. Uh, but let's get to this right here. We're gonna call him in here. I do have my uh, skill tree set to where when I. So, phase locking is going to slag him. If you don't know, uh, bullets that aren't, like, guns that don't have elemental effects with when the enemy is slagged, they do twice as much damage. And if you get a critical on this bad boy with this gun right here, it's going to destroy him. Now, you can see the shield is going down pretty freaking rapidly, man. I've been using the, you know, the shock infinity for this. Now, check that out. You see how I knew that uh, he was used to get ready to use the fire? If you're doing this solo and you know he's about to use that fire, man, go hide behind something and it makes it where you don't have to pull those spider ants, you know, a few less times, man, because those spider ants can really cock block you, especially if you don't have these decent weapons where you got to do them a bunch. Now, he's about to do it here. Unfortunately, I don't have a place to hide. I might be able to get lucky. Oh, he didn't do it, though. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, for you guys that don't have the good weapons, sometimes you have to use those freaking... Uh, rats and they can kind of cock block you so just be careful there if you see if you know what's coming you know just hide from that he's about to do it now so i'm gonna try to hide again bam bam we hit again baby and that's what i suggest you know you may not realize what is coming or it's coming uh the first couple of times you fight him but i've done him up so many freaking times now uh you know i know when the attack coming so i know when to hide and stuff like that so let's take it you know if you fought pyro pete before you know he's a pain in the ass, especially his shield's usually not too hard. It's his health that really destroys you. Now, with this gun, I'm actually failing uh, quite a bit. You want to try to get those criticals, man, because it's got that critical uh, bonus. So you definitely want to try for those criticals as much as possible. And you see, it, it is just destroying him. So there it is, dude. Pyro Pete the Invincible the easy way. You can see I'm already maxed out of Seraph Crystals. I've been farming this dude so much. And uh, we didn't get a legendary, which is unfortunate. He drops legendaries for days. He's probably, oops, I just picked up a greenie. He's probably the most lenient as far as legendaries. I have got so many freaking legendaries from this dude, like all over the scale. Class mods, uh, weapons, shields, grenades, everything. 
Uh, but guys, I hope this helped you with Pyro PT Invincible. We'll take one last look at this gun here. You definitely want to try to get this. If you've got a shock or a slag version, it's going to simply destroy his shield. I suggest going with the shock. Uh, if you can get a shock version of this, use the shock version while his shield is up. Once that's down, switch to this bad boy right here, or one that doesn't have an elemental effect, and you should be good. But guys, that's Pete the Invincible. Probably the easiest way I know of, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you, please show me some love with the like, and and uh, yeah, I've got plenty of Borderlands 2 videos coming up, a new series that I think you guys are definitely going to dig. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm out of here. Peace.